In order for an engine to continue running, regular maintenance is undertaken to ensure that they are kept in good working order, and that no problems would occur while out on the line. On one particular day, it was discovered that Dom was having trouble with his brakes. They weren't working properly, and needed to be replaced, but the workshops didn't have space for Dom. So, as a precaution, Mr. Harris decided to lessen the number of trains Dom would usually pull in case heavy amounts took a toll on his brakes. This proved to work, but there was a catch. The other engines would have to do some of Dom's other jobs, as well as their own. But this did not go down well with one of them, and one night, opinions were voiced. Why should we put up with Dom's work? Sadie protested. We have enough work to do ourselves! Mr. Harris made the decision to limit the amount for me until a space is available for my brakes to be fixed, replied Dom. Well, it's not going to happen anytime soon, huffed Sadie. If anything, this limitation of yours sounds more like an excuse for laziness. Of course this wasn't true, but that remark made Dom very cross. And instead of going to sleep, Dom thought of how he could prove Sadie wrong. The next day, Dom was sent to collect coal from Eversley Colliery. He would then bring it down to the junction, where an engine from the main line would take it further on. There were a lot of trucks, and Dom knew he would have to take them in smaller sections, four trucks at the most. But not wanting to hear more complaints about his limitations, Dom decided to take all of them at once. So he shunted the trucks into one long line, and then he headed off for the junction. Dom puffed cheerfully through the countryside with his heavy load. This'll show him, this'll show him, he said to himself, and thought about what he would say to the others in the shed that night. But Dom had forgotten something. The line to the junction runs down a steep slope, where a sharp corner lies at the bottom. It was important for trains to decrease their speed as they go downhill to prevent any accidents, but Dom, wrapped in his mind, didn't remember this. Limitations? Me? Never, said Dom, and feeling very content with himself, began to descend the slope. Then it happened. As Dom began to apply his brakes, he felt the weight of the heavy trucks begin to push him, and he started to go faster down the other side. Help! Help! Dom cried, but his brakes were useless against the trucks. His driver fought for control, but could do nothing to stop them. The bottom of the slope came closer and closer, until with a jolt, Dom hit the corner and came off the rails. He wasn't hurt, just shaken, but his brakes were now in a worse shape than before. Oh dear, Dom muttered. I shouldn't have tried to take all those trucks. And now look what's happened. I am a silly engine. When Dom was back on the rails, Mr. Harris came to see him. After Dom explained why he had taken so many trucks, Mr. Harris sighed. I limited your trains so that accidents like this wouldn't happen, he explained. I understand you're only trying to prove yourself, but safety for you and others must be taken into account. Yes, sir, replied Dom quietly. He knew Mr. Harris was right. While Dom didn't suffer too much damage, he had to stay in the workshop for a while. Instead of being cross again, Sadie was worried about Dom, and volunteered to do his work until he returned. And when Dom did, both engines mended their ways, and had been firm friends ever since. <laughs>